Boom, what's up everyone? Welcome to Simulation. I'm your host, Alan Sakian. We are still on site at Indie Bios demo day number eight. We are now gonna be talking to Helen Chen. Hello. Hi, thank you for having me on your show. Thank you so much for coming on. Really excited to talk to you. CEO of Guided Clarity. Yes. Okay, and you just did a talk on the main stage. What was it about? Well, it's about uh, developing this new medical food for functional aging. And the idea came from studying the mitochondria which we all have tons of those in our, in our body, I mean. But as we get older, some of these uh, mitochondria can get dysfunctional and start spewing out toxic material, causing aging and health decline. Okay, and, okay, so mitochondria is in all of our cells. Of course, and we don't just have one or two of those. We have like a hundreds of thousands of them per cell. Hundreds of thousands per yes, cell? Yes, like for example, your heart cell needs about 5,000 mitochondria in each cell to help you pump your blood 24-7. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, Okay, thousands per cell. Thousands or, per cell. Oh, thousands per cell, not hundreds of thousands per cell. Hundreds up oh, to oh, thousands. Oh, hundreds up to thousands per cell. Yes. Okay, that's a lot of mitochondria per cell. Okay, some of them are really functioning well and some become dysfunctional over yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, just like batteries. I mean, after a while, some of them gets leaky and you, there's a recycling program within our cell. Okay. Yeah, which is great, but when we get older, it, it's, it doesn't do its job as well. So uh, what we have done is we did some screening. We found this molecule from mother's milk uh, that can help with this decluttering process of dysfunctional mitochondria. Whoa, okay, all right. So, okay, so mitochondria is giving our cells energy. Exactly, so that's why it keeps up with your metabolism and it, it keeps us standing up straight. Yeah, so, is, so is mitochondria taking glucose as its power? Oh, right. So it does take glucose and then transfer it eventually. It's like a production line and it will give you ATP, which is the cellular energy. Okay. And, and, the, okay. and then the ATP powers like protein creation? Yeah, your protein creation, pretty much all your bodily function. And they say the single biggest determinant of how long you will live, you know, after you're 60 or 70, is your gait speed. Whether, how fast you can walk from one room to the next, you know. G you gait know, speed. Yeah, gait speed, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that spelled G-A-I-T? Yeah, okay, G-A-I-T, yeah. okay, okay. gait speed. Okay. Yeah, because you need so much energy just to be able to walk across. You know how like older people, they start to shuffle? And, and it's also about the coordination. So your brain takes the most energy. 20% of all your energy goes into your brain. And so if the energy is kind of mm, then you start not being able to coordinate, you lose balance, and when you get older and you fall, you break your hip, and that starts kind of like the downfall. Yeah. Whoa, okay, so then is, so are we potentially able to say that things like when we slow down with our gait speed walking across the room, that that is potentially one of the things involved is this dysfunctional mitochondria? Yes, that's one, one of the factors. One and, of the and, factors. and this is one of the important factors that you think that you can potentially tackle um, to help us increase our longevity. Uh, well, health span is, is kind of, yeah, that is, that is the key because I think longevity is one thing, right? You, you uh, live until 100, but you want to be functional. Okay. Yeah. And so by having these better batteries, better re battery recycling program, then we can have more energy. The first area that we're targeting is as simple as joint pain, which affects one third of adults. And after a while, it's really preventing active lifestyle. Okay, joint pain affects one third of active adults. Yes. Oh, wow. So okay. then it turns out to be like osteoarthritis. You first start yeah. with joint pain. And a lot of athletes actually have a lot of joint pain because they're always pounding, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. And then so as we get older, it turns into osteoarthritis. You're starting to get it kind of stiff. Now you're thinking about we're, it. Uh, we're all getting some from all of this and this. There's something big something, happening. Something, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we don't recover as fast from injuries and, yeah, yeah. and we have more aches and pain. That's all about inflammation. And, and a lot of that come from dysfunctional mitochondria. They just spill out these uh, factors, which is not good for your health. Okay, and now let's talk about this breast milk. So yes. the mother's breast milk is where yes. you found... What yes, is, yeah, so this, this, is a, this is a molecule that's most abundant protein in mother's milk, but very low amount in cow's milk. And so what happens when Can a we baby... Know what's a protein? Yes. Yes, what is it? Uh, it's alpha-lactobumin. 
alpha lactobumin. Yeah, so that, it's okay. so long that that's why I just say <laughs> it's the most abundant. Alpha lactobumin. ALB. <laughs> alpha lactobumin. <laughs> we call it ALA, but it, it's, it's okay. And uh, Wait, why is it ALA? Uh, alpha lact. Yeah, so it's alpha lactobumin. Yeah. So, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Because okay. it's it's okay. uh, it's <laughs> a, you can know, Ella, so that's a little bit oh. faster, and um, so the full protein, if it is combined with the fatty acid, it has anti-cancer effect, and what we have found is when it's being digested in the gut into small peptides, little bits, mm. and then uh, it can wrap around the milk mineral, and then it can activate this kind of decluttering process. A lot of times we don't know mother's milk is more than just nutrients. It's actually helping you have better immune function, anti-cancer, and also to help you reduce inflammation. So these are the good goodness uh, from mother's milk. So we should potentially be supplementing ourselves with mother's milk throughout <laughs> our whole lives? <laughs> no, not really. What is <laughs> obvious is it's not really possible. There's a small amount in cow's milk. That's what we're trying to do. Oh, there's a small amount in cow's milk? Yes, yeah, so that's oh, why, yeah. Wh why can't we r synthesize the same that's in mother's? Our we can synthesize it or, but it's easy to take from um, cow's milk. From cow's milk. Yeah, but it just takes a longer time to just isolate that and get enough amount. Because you know, when a baby drinks mother's milk, you don't, the baby doesn't have anything else in the stomach. It just milk, right? It chops the right way, and so because your oh. enzyme might not work the same as when you're a baby, right? So you need to chop it up in the right length, and you need to get to with the right mineral, which if you're eating a whole bunch of other stuff, that's gonna, gonna be helpful. So that's why we're creating this medical food. Okay, and then, so then you're taking um, ALA from cow's, cow's milk, milk, yes, and then and we chop it up. And chop it up, meaning you separate the ALA. Uh, no, so so we we use enzyme. You use an enzyme to chop it up. Yeah, to, to chop it up, and okay. then oh, so to they make can, it easier. Oh, yeah, I see. so it's pre-digested. So it's pre-digested. Pre-digested oh, okay. for you, oh. adding the right minerals that you will see. So these are the things that we are kind of recreating what's happening in the baby's gut. Oh. So you don't need to do any work. Okay. You know how when we get older, our digestion is not as good, yeah, right? Yeah. And so we are trying to do this everything pre pre digested for people who really need it. And then I am supplementing myself um, with y with you. Um, is this like within a pill? Is you can be in a pill form or in, can in powder and dissolve in water. Powder and dissolve water. Yeah, because a lot of um, the older population they can't take uh, pills that well and so they can you can dissolve in water but for the, for the people who are younger who want to take it then of course a pill on the go it's, it's faster and like one a day uh, two a day two a day yeah okay and then um, is this recommended for people with uh, joint pain or is this recommended so for even preventative? Medicine? It can be for preventative uh, but of course I think the first thing for us as scientists really is to look for a target population who have like joint pain or uh, people who have uh, COPD, chronic obstructive uh, pulmonary disease. Their uh, lung inflammation that's kind of like a real big problem and their mitochondria is really dysfunctional. They are not breathing the right way and so uh, we are engaging Texas A&M instead of aging to look into how our product can help with these um, people with COPD, which is the fourth uh, leading cause of death in the U.S. COPD, o -P -D, yeah, is the fourth leading cause of death. Yes, yes. Go ahead, and one more time, the acronym stands for. Yeah, it's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the cr COPD does what in the body again? So COPD is like you, uh, usually it's people who smoke or have been exposed to a lot of environmental pollution. And then so they cannot, uh, usually they, they can't um, breathe too much and then you start seeing them with oxygen tanks. Oh. And what I'm really most worried is our troops that have gone overseas to the Middle East and they get uh, exposed to um, let's say gunpowder, you know, this laced with toxins, I mean explosives, and also uh, this fine dust in, um, in these deserts. And, and on these bases, I mean, they, they need to burn their own trash. I mean, none of these <laughs> trash is being hauled away, you know, miraculously. So when you burn trash on the base, you smell a lot of these, inhale so much toxin. And we're also concerned about people who are uh, doing like e-cigarettes nowadays, or um, 
uh, marijuana just because I mean you're smoking with a no filter so these kind of things our lungs are very sensitive and once it start to be chronically inflamed and the mitochondria especially in the lung line is not working well okay. it's not reversible and so these also just become like kind of chronic fatigue these people cannot go out so that's more on the serious side Okay. Right, and then with joint pain is more just like, okay, I can't be as active as I used to be. But then we have people who are really active and they are killing it, we're going for a marathon or do their hard training and they want to use it just for a faster recovery. Because when you go out and do really hard training, uh, your mitochondria needs a little boost too. So it's just a faster recycling program. And then how does the, um, what we find in the mother's breast milk, how do we then, uh, how does that then uh, interact with the dysfunctional mitochondria? Yeah, so basically it, it goes into the mitochondria. So if your mitochondria is pretty healthy, it's kind of like a fitness test. Nothing happens. It's like, ah, oh, you know, just a little thing here, here, just bust it off. But if the mitochondria is not very functional, it sends a signal to the nucleus and say, hey, you know, excuse me, um, we're not functional. So you kind of trigger a signal to have this decluttering process. You, so the ALA triggers the nucleus to, um, to, tell, to do what with the dysfunctional mitochondria? Uh, so basically start hauling away. So to the, haul it away? You haul it away. Yeah, so you break it down. Yeah, you, you, oh, you break it down. Yeah, you break it down. So these are, so you haul away, you break it down and recycle. I mean, and it's recycle. amazing. It, it's uh, oh, interesting. A cell is like a city. They, they do a whole bunch of stuff. And then so basically you want to have all these signals working properly. But it just how as we get older, it gets, everything gets a little bit sluggish. Metabolism is a little sluggish. Signaling is a little sluggish. So this is just a, like a little, uh, little boost. It goes to the mitochondria and the mitochondria, oh, psh, I, you know, yeah, you know, we haven't, uh, you know, haven't been functional since a signal to the nucleus. Hey, haul us away. And it gets all away and broken down, so you can have new mitochondria. And then, so am I then able to visit the website and already purchase this? Not yet. So we will be launch ready in 18 months. We're doing clinical okay. studies right now. Oh, clinical we, studies. Yeah, yes. we need to do the clinical study first, and we need to. Uh, I heard ramp some people up here production. saying they're already exploring. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Limited release. Uh, we limited we release. have a small, tiny. We call it mini factory that we're producing. Mini factory. Yeah, and putting people, a small scale. And people are able to kind of like report how they feel to you subjectively, and that's also right. Very yeah, good. so that's so we have the informal uh, studies, but most important, these are for the clinical trial. Clinical that's trial. A, yeah, that's coming up. Yeah. You okay? You're you have a lined up clinical trial already. Going yes, through. so we cool. have uh, two clinical studies that's lined up. Uh, we want to do that. Uh, we also need to be able to produce a large scale. Yes, yes. And so in about six months, we'll transition to a pilot plant and then to uh, the full plant to, okay. to produce that. Wow. <laughs> so so where, where, where else can we find within the evolution um, with these really interesting little like nuggets that can uh, increase our vitality, our health? Well, I personally think... Um, I mean, I studied cancer biology for the longest time, and I was always fascinated at the beginning of life, like uh, during embryogenesis, what's happening as our cells transform. I mean, we all came from single cells. Mm -hmm. and, and eventually we divide and grow, and we, we have, so there's so many molecules within us that has the potential to heal. And that's why people using stem cells, you know, doing embryogenesis, there are a lot of stem cells that has a transformative properties. And there are also signals within embryos that are meant to help us, to shape us the right way. So these are just long-term goals and we'll continue to looking at that, um, how we can see things from the beginning of life that can help us when we're getting older. So we can repair ourselves better, be more help, uh, healthy, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. The same way that we went from a single cell to these massive creatures with exactly. so many cells is kind yeah. of similar to how the evolution on the planet started with just single cell organisms. And now there's exactly. so many millions of species. And, and yeah. So yeah, and I think the power of using some of these natural molecules is that you're less likely to have a toxic side effects because especially it's from mammalian. If you use something from a I don't want to say like mushroom or something like somewhere like an organism at a deep sea, our body can, can create an immune response because we've never seen it before. But our body has been genetically, evolutionarily designed 
trick to have certain molecules. Now we're just bringing these molecules back yeah. to help us to, to clean ourselves a little bit. Helen, this, is a, this has been an interesting conversation. I'm really <laughs> I'm excited to hear you building this. This is, thank you. Thank you for thank teaching you. us about it. Yeah, let's see where this can go with healing. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited and I think um, medical food is a, a new discipline because we have um, therapeutics, which have been in, this, in that field for 15 years and therapeutics takes 10, 15 years and, and it's really about diseases and um, medical food is kind of in between, it's more about something about also about preventive. I mean, you mentioned about can we take that before it gets too late, right? And we also want something that's just more complimentary and you don't have to think so much about side effects because it's just taken from milk. So um, I think there's a, a tremendous growth in, as you can see from Indie Bio, um, our cohort, very creative, very innovative way to look at how we can um, innovate from food, from something natural, and um, bring better health for the planet and for human. Yes, yes. Helen, this has been such a pleasure. Thank you for joining us on the show. Well, Thanks thank you so us. much. I really right. appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We greatly yeah. appreciate it. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what you're thinking about the episode. Also, share more content like this with your friends, your families, coworkers, people online on social media. Get talking more about things like this. And also, check out the links in the bio below to Guided Clarity, also to Indie Bio. Check out those links below. And also, check out the links below to Simulation as well. Support the artists, the entrepreneurs, the organizations around the world that you believe in. Build the future, everyone. Manifest your dreams into the world. We'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.